Hello everyone and welcome to the Magnum Channel. Today we will be continuing our bone test series up next. The test gun today is the Glock Model 22 in 40 Smith & Wesson. And the test ammo today is the popular Federal HST 180 grain. So everybody knows about this round. You've all seen it in ballistics gel. There's just a close-up look. So today we're going to be shooting this at our bow and we'll see what happens. And as is usually the case, we have our pork femur strapped on to the first water jug backed by a whole bunch of water. And um, we learned our lesson in the first experiment where we lost the 45 ACP bullet. So we are backing a whole bunch of water today. Hopefully we will not have any problems capturing this round. And the velocity on that shot was 984. So here are the results from that shot guys and look at this. This is really interesting. If you look at this bone, there's the entry wound. This is a pork femur again. This is a real pork femur, so there's the entry wound, and there's the exit. I can't believe this didn't shatter. I think, I don't think I've seen that before, having a bone stay in one piece like that. So this obviously had quite a bit, you can kind of look down in there. I think this had quite a bit of density left to it, and that's just a really interesting result. So at any rate, it went right through the, right through the bone. There's our entry into jug number one. See jug number one, lost major water coming out the back. Okay, here was the entry into jug number two, right there. Lost a bunch of water out the side and exited. Here's the entry, it's kind of hard to see. There's the entry into jug number three, just kind of bleeding along there. Exit from jug number three, entry into jug number four, right there. Exit from jug number four right here. We have just a laceration. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's just a laceration right here on number five. It's still together. It's just kind of bleeding. And look at right there. There's the bullet. So the bullet went through four jugs and bounced off the fifth jug. Now I'll get a close up of that here. So here is our recovered 40 caliber HST. And remember the velocity on this was about 984. Yeah, very little expansion at all. Um, you can kind of see those petals smash down. Those copper, copper petals smash down over the top of the lead in a lot of cases and didn't peel back. So um, this is kind of interesting. It's an interesting result because you know this encountered something very hard. It encountered this bone and <clears throat> You know, maybe not as hard as sheet metal or something like that, but uh, it hit this bone, and because of the bone, it did not really expand. It kind of didn't really do a whole lot of anything. It just kind of plowed through it all. So, take it or leave it. We got sufficient penetration. I'm happy with four jugs plus the pork femur. So, what that means to me is that the round is going to do its job. Uh, if you were to hit, have to shoot through somebody's a major bone in their body. Uh, I think you can still reach what you're trying to reach on the other side. So, so this is a wrap up from the 40 caliber HST test. There's our Glock. There's our bullet again. So a really interesting test result today. There's our bone. There's that weird looking bone again that stayed together. That is really bizarre. So uh, anyway, that's the wrap up. We went through four jugs, bounced off a number five. Well, that about wraps it up for today, guys. Uh, as always, the link to my Facebook page is in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.